Okay, so we're back looking at our, um, our curtain wall panel that we've uh, modelled on our mass, on the mass face, the face of the mass. Of course, the, the mass itself is not important anymore. So um, if you did go to finish the mass, you've created this curtain wall element, uh, this pattern-based curtain wall element on top of that mass. But under the massing and sight um, menu, you can then always uh, turn off the show mass override. And it's not open. Let's have a look right then. Right, that's happening like that. Uh, I expected this um, mass to disappear now. Uh, probably I'll just have to check the visibility graphics and don't know why this has happened, but man, I, I prefer mass to not be checked. And it's probably just in the template file. So I'll just uncheck mass there so that generally you'll have this happening. You won't be able to see the mass. It'll just be the actual Revit building component that's left behind. If you ever did want to show the mass, you can show the mass there. Now, it means what you can do is you could then always edit the mass if you wanted to and change some aspect of the mass, like I'm about to do here now. Uh, and in this case, um, the curtain panel, pattern based panel, has updated itself automatically. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is see if I just delete that um, divided surface. So that divided surface can just be selected and deleted, and you're still left with the underlying mass geometry behind there. Let's have a look at ground floor plan, and you can see that I've got, and I'm still in the mass editor here by the time, I've never finished the mass at this stage. Um, so we can see we've got a couple of grid lines in this particular exercise to work with and I can see that grid line number one is right at the front. So if I was to open up an elevation view, so this elevation pointer down here which is looking in this front direction through here, uh, by the way at the moment that would be called the south elevation by default in the Revit template. So we'll look at that as the south elevation there at the moment. And um, I'll open that up that south elevation and I'll draw a rectangular shape but it could be any shape you like you'll need to give it a plane to draw on and in our place we're looking straight at grid one so that's the plane that we can see so we'll click OK to that um, and I'll just draw some sort of a rectangular shape so I'll just grab a rectangle like I said it, it could be any shape that you like at all I'll just lock it into that point down there. Let's have a look at the 3D view of what we've done there. So on that grid one, we've created that shape. This grid one is the reference plane. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down the pointer underneath create form, and I'm going to create a void form there. So if you grab, you can see what we've done there. We've created this void form. If I just click out, you see it's a different color. It's an orange color. I just select it again. I select it. I might have to select that face from back around here. Now I should then be able to stretch that green grip out until that void form intersects or slices through the actual geometry. Um, so I'll then go and use the cut command. If it doesn't automatically cut the solid object, I'll force it to cut the solid object with the cut command. Um, just select the void form first and then the solid geometry second. And that void form now has carved out that shape. So that could be um, a situation where you might have this organic form front to a building which still needs a conventional doorway and a glass curtain wall. So you'd have to carve out some sort of typical um, orthogonal geometry out of the organic shape so that you can place uh, somehow place a reveal system of um, walls and suffetes so that you can then place a normal conventional uh, flat curtain wall that you can place a door element into. So that's just why I've done that. But now while I've got that selected, I can select that front face and I can go back now. I'll have to divide the surface again. So I've divided the surface and I'll drop down the pattern selector 
and I've still got my family one loaded in here. So I'll now reselect that family one. It takes a little bit of little while to um, calculate all the geometry, but there we go. So we've got that that family there. So I'm probably right now to finish the mass, and like we did before. The mass was only important for us to create the model to set up the geometry with. So under the mass and insight menu, you would probably then turn off the actual mass. So you're just left with the Revit geometry of the curtain wall. All right, that's it for Revit organic massing and using pattern based, using a very basic pattern based uh, curtain panel.